Welcome to the Bitter Barbarian! Welcome everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're opening some Whatnot boxes. What is Whatnot? Uh, it is an app that you can purchase pops from. And you can purchase a bunch of things, com comic books and all kinds of different things from. It's also an auction site. A lot of people are going on there buying things and selling things through the Whatnot app. And that's great. I'm not buying things through the auction right now. I cannot control myself when it comes to those things. I don't want to be caught up in some sort of a bidding war with some random, you know, mystery individual that uh, I end up paying $100 for a pop that's worth $20, okay? So I'm, I'm not really into that. That's not really my thing right now. Maybe that'll change, but as it stands right now, I just basically bought these from people that did postings and it was just a buy it now kind of situation. You'll see the types of things that I'm into um, I bought a bunch of these things. I think five of the boxes are from uh, whatnot. And one of them is just an Amazon box um, that I just, you know, happened to get something recently. So I decided to go ahead and throw it in this video as well. So I'll open that Amazon box first. Let you see what um, I'm looking for in there as well. Okay. Let's take a look and see what we got from Amazon and then from whatnot. Okay. All right. <clears throat> what do you suppose we got from Amazon? I was waiting for this one to come for a while. <clears throat> and we got the MTV Moon person, and it's the uh, rainbow version. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, box is a little curled. It's not in bad shape. It is cool, though, because it's sort of a silvery style. Um, and you can sort of see the MTV logo. Uh, I remember MTV, this again, me to be going back to me being an old person, um, where MTV, they used to play music primarily on there all the time. And then they had the MTV Movie Awards. And this was, uh, you know, the award that they gave for the MTV Movie Awards. Okay. And I always thought it was really cool to have this type of thing. Um, and they had a regular version. I just thought this was a really neat version of that. So I most likely will take this one out of the box because I do think it's a very cool one. Um, stay tuned at the end of the video and you can sort of check it out on the uh, 360 spinner and see what you think. But yeah, that was a cool one. I pre-ordered this one and it finally showed up. Okay, let's see what else we can find. All right, again, the rest of these came from Whatnot. I bought a variety of different things. I tried to get these items when they first came out and like maybe a lot of people, wasn't able to. Some people were able to and and you know God bless those folks for being able to get them when they can get them. Um, sometimes I have good luck, sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes you know when I have good luck people are like you get all the coolest stuff and then there are other times you're like I got nothing. I ended up getting nothing when it comes to those. They do those, Funko does these drops periodically and you don't really know when they're dropping things and Sometimes they're dropping things when I'm not able to, to do any purchasing. I'm doing other things. So I just can get things when I can get them. And when I can't, then I just have to go and sometimes buy things on the secondary market. So Whatnot is a trusted app, and they are supposed to verify all the, the pop sodas and stuff like that to make sure they're authentic. So that's part of the reason why I decided to go there as opposed to e you know um, eBay or, or anywhere else. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Try to very carefully pull this one out. <clears throat> All right. Sometimes people think my ax is not very sharp. That's not the case. It's actually pretty sharp. It's just, um, you know, sometimes it's not very delicate. So I'm trying to be extra careful when it comes to those things. Um, I got a little note from the, the seller. Um, it says, I just broke the box, honestly, enjoy your pop. And what did we get? We got an Alice in Wonderland. Um, this is Alice doing curtsying from the Funko um, shop, okay? It's a cool one. I never wasn't able to get any of the Funko Pop Blacklight. This one was a little bit more than just, you know, what the original cost was. Um, I don't know, 18 bucks, 19 bucks. So it wasn't too bad. I was willing to pay that. I don't want to pay huge amounts, but put it in a, a kind of a cheapo, plastic protector but still that was nice of them to do that so that's that as well again stay tuned at the end of the video and we'll put that one on the spinner as well okay that was nice of them to put a little note okay um all right let's see what do we got next here let's check this one out all right <clears throat> it's sort of you know it's a bit of a risk sometimes taking these 
you know, buying these things from secondary sellers. I've had pretty good luck at buying large, though. I mean, I can't complain but so much. I can, but nobody would care. Um, but yeah, I've had some pretty good luck with buying stuff from uh, sellers. Um, so, yeah. All right, ooh, they put it in a little sorter for us. Soda sorter, you can tell it's a soda. Let's take a look, see what we got. What did we get? We got the Queen of Hearts Black Light Soda. It's a 10,000 piece. You can see there's the Funko Shop sticker. <laughs> it's already opened. It is already opened. I knew that going in. Um, and it is the Common. You can sort of see that. It's one in 8,400. It actually sort of fools you a bit because usually the Commons for sodas are white pog. Um, but this one's not because it's black. Okay, so let's take a look at the soda. Like, I really am into these black light pops and sodas. They're just very, very cool. Again, stay tuned at the end. We'll put it on the uh, 360 spinner. Um, hopefully you can get a chance to see that one. That's very, very cool. Again, Queen of Hearts. So yeah, that was cool. It's in great condition, really great condition. I thank the seller for doing that and putting it in a sorter, which was very nice of them to do. You don't always get that. So it's nice to get a little sorter. All right, let's see what we got next here. Getting a bit of a theme of what, what we're finding here. Don't jump to any conclusions that that's exactly what we're getting, but you could jump to a conclusion. All right, let's see what we got in this one. All right. Looks like we got another sorter here. What do we get for this one? Ah, we got Alice. You can see Alice um, Black Light Soda. That's a cool one. Again, that was like this one was already open, and I did know that this is the common, and you can sort of see there's the uh, pog for that. It's a cool one. Again, I tried to get these when they first came out. I just didn't have any luck at all. Didn't have any luck at all. You can sort of see my my soda sort of displays a bit in my um, side view, and I'll do a um, see if I can take a picture of that um, one time soon of all the uh, sodas sort of lined up in the in the. Uh, case there okay so there's two of those Let's see what else we got here Some of these packages are packaged a little bit better than others, but so far everything's come in great shape, actually. Again, I appreciate everyone putting them in soda sorters, which is nice. It's nice to have some soda sorters because I do do a lot of giveaways with sodas. And you can see this one is, again, 10,000. It's the Cheshire Cat Blacklight. Again, they're already opened, and these are all the commons. <clears throat> Go ahead and check and see what we got here. There's the Cheshire Cat. Uh -uh. Oh, this one's already open. And there he is. Blue and yellow. With pink nose. Uh -uh. All right, we got one more. We got one more. What do you suppose this one is? Any thoughts? Any thoughts, lady? Mad Hatter? Mad Hatter. Hmm, could be, could be. This one's very hard to get into. Again, another one in a sorter, which is awesome. This does help protect the cans. I have gotten dented soda cans before. And I like to keep my soda cans as pristine as possible. And yes, Mad Hatter. Exactly right. Exactly right. Let's take a look and see what we got. Oops. It's shooting right out of the bag here. And there he is. There's the Mad Hatter. Again, super cool. Let's go ahead and take a look and see the, what the pog looks like. There's the pog. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, those, I don't know, let me know in the comment down below if you were able to get any of the uh, 
black light sodas. Again, I wasn't initially able to, um, but I had to go and I was able to find these. I got some pretty good deals from my perspective. Um, I don't mind spending a little bit more money since I wasn't able to get them initially, but I'm not going to bust the bank. If somebody was like, look, this is, you know, these are $100 now, I'm not going to do that. So I can just move on and, and wait for the next item. But some things I really want are a little bit more that I'm willing to do that. So again, stay tuned at the end of the video to check them all out on the uh, spinner. Let me know what you think. Have you bought anything from uh, whatnot? If, if you have, uh, point me in the right direction. Let me know what types of things uh, you'd like to see me open next. Uh, do you want to see me uh, go to an auction? Do you want me to see me set up an auction? I was started thinking about doing some of that. I have a tendency to give away most of the things I don't want. So I don't really have a lot of other things like that that I'm necessarily looking for. Um, so we'll see. But thank you very much for coming. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Um, tell your family and friends that we've got some great stuff coming out on the channel. We got some more mystery boxes coming. We got comic book mystery boxes coming and all kinds of other fun stuff. Thank you for coming and goodbye from the Beard of Barbarian.